Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, you guys. Um, so we're going to do a little quickie here. See what the messages are for you. Um, also, I have now updated my community or my membership. So um, for 99 cents, you can 99 cents a month sign up for the membership where you will receive all access to my polls and community status updates and all that here in my community tab on my channel. Okay, um, that's for those of you I'm going to make that private now due to all the spam. So if you want to access that, 99 cents a month so you can, you know, receive shout outs, all of that's in the membership offer there. Or you can join the channel 9.99 a month and you guys can get the access to the community tab as well as early access to videos and you will also get a private link to my private Facebook group as well okay all right so Virgo let's get into your reading and see what's going on so the hermits here self-reflection and of course mercury retrograde playing out until October 2nd I think or yeah, September 9th to October 2nd. So somebody here is like going within, doing a rethink, thinking things over, thinking some things through. Okay. Yeah. So nine of wands energy. Somebody's really like busted up. Somebody's feeling very like, it could be you, it could be another person, but I feel like someone's blocking some energy. They are taking a time out to rethink things. I feel like this person is, it's, I, I get a sense of like going back, like if you're in a boxing ring, like a, in, a, in a ring, going like the bell rings, have your match and then um, finish the round and then go back to your, back to your corner. So I feel like there's somebody here who's gone back to the corner and they're rethinking how to approach what the next moves are going to be when they get back into the center ring with you okay so somebody here definitely could be another virgo kind of rethinking things like okay maybe that last thing didn't work let me try something different okay <laughs> virgo. let me try something different and see what the strategy is what's the next gameplay what's the next move okay so okay yeah look at that four of swords that's like the four posts on a boxing ring um this person is definitely withdrawn you're not talking to them or there's no communication with someone it's because they're trying to think of their next move for sure somebody is i feel like somebody here is going to reach out during this retrograde but at this time they're like well i, I gotta figure out what's what what's the appropriate appropriate approach oh my god try to say that 10 times real fast appropriate approach what is the best move what do i say how do i say it um it's it's very strategic i feel like it's like a real strategic thing going on here with someone i feel like somebody doesn't want to get back into or this person doesn't want to get back into um the connection or relationship um and lose somebody's out to win some uh, maybe win your heart win something get a need met so six pentacles here yeah there's this reciprocity this charity this giving um this person maybe coming to term okay be careful because some of you this could be someone who's coming in with that breadcrumbing energy so be careful okay um you'll know it when you see it if it's just genuine reciprocity giving charity making a sacrifice being generous or if this person that's really what i feel like this energy is somebody might have been very selfish in the past and not giving not even like even a little okay so yeah this they might even so with that breadcrumbing thing i'm feeling like rethinking the strategy because this is like wow I didn't give enough I didn't throw those punches well enough I didn't like follow through with those what I was giving um I was just tapping here tapping there tip tap tip tap you know um and it might have been like kind of maybe some of you felt like that it was wearing you down no this is like full throttle here somebody like rethinking how to 
oh, I hate saying get what they want, but <clears throat> it feels like that, like how to win your heart, how to win you over. So if you were dating someone or connecting or talking and then they disappeared, um, now they've like stepped back to try to re-strategize their next move here. I saw the King of Swords in my head because this is the king of strategy. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the one who's the thinker, who's the one who's, this is the chess player. Even if you're, this person doesn't play chess, male or female, this is the person who like thinks before they make their next move. Strategy, strategy, strategy. So yeah, this is what's going on here. Are you gonna hear from someone? around the retrograde i will take a look and see but i feel like right now this is like taking a step back and thinking about what to say and what to do okay yep at a crossroads how do i approach so i feel like these same messages are coming out how does this person approach you the two of wands is like making these plans here for some it could be travel plans but making plans to come together twos are all about partnership Okay, let's see what else is going on. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Somebody's taking this time away during the retrograde to rethink something here. How to rethink their approach. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. Page of Cups. So I definitely feel like there's going to be a message. There may be an apology for some of you. This person coming in, um, crushing on you, having an emotional uh, admiration. Um, reaching out, saying sweet things, trying to kind of, it's just kindness, it's sincerity. Um, <laughs> Virgo. Okay, so like I said, you could be dealing with an air sign or it's just someone, whoever your person is, if you know them already, coming in with this air energy, okay? Wherever air is in their chart, it could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, you're, you're getting some kind of, oh, you're getting some kind of an apology and someone who's really going to put in the effort this time. It's either an apology or it is an energy of like just <clears throat> asking how you're doing. This, their mind's already made up. Once, once they reach out, their mind's already made up that this is the energy they want to go with you. That Eight of Pentacles for sure putting in the effort I didn't put in the effort before I want to put in the effort now or if this was someone you were just dating and they kind of disappeared off the radar coming back in sorry I've been really busy and then really going forward like full throttle is what I feel okay let's see what the the messages of love are for you here messages of love okay patience everything will unfold in divine timing so i really feel like some of you have been patient or some of you need to be patient things are going to work out here whatever this situation whatever your fears your concerns your worries are i feel like um somebody's going to actually follow follow through i feel like right now uh, maybe closer to the end of the the retrograde so the end of september going in and by the way happy birthday virgo going into october um you're going to hear from somebody okay vulnerability you can be completely open with this person yeah so this is the new thing that i feel like is happening with them whereas before there might have been a lack of good communication or vulnerability or being able to open up i feel like that's coming through here Okay, interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. Now, for some of you, this could be somebody you were connected with before where there was an external party. That doesn't have to be a romantic. That could be somebody got caught up in something, um, not necessarily a person. It could be if you know or place or think. So it could have been a work situation or um death of a family member or someone was very ill um it could have been really anything right anything okay so i do feel like this might be part of the apology of why um they weren't around is it true <laughs> they may tell you that they had commitments or something else was going on um but what i feel 
because that's the point of tarot is that this person was really taking a step back no matter what else what other third party or external party was influencing them during that time they were also taking a step back trying to figure out how to approach you okay how to approach you so you also have new love here okay so there's this is definitely a new love or recommitment to love developing here with someone so let me try to get a date um, because I was feeling like the end of September okay hold on a second Let's see if they can give me ah, a date okay September 29th yep the end of September sometime around the 29th you're gonna hear from somebody oh my goodness what's happening hold on oh my goodness you would not believe all the stuff I have down here I got missing tarot cards look at that that was on the floor nine of swords I feel like Virgo that's for you like stop stressing just relax don't worry okay I know this is a far cry from yesterday's reading I don't feel like it's attached I don't feel like it's the same but um yeah don't be stressing don't worry just you know try to enjoy your every day where did that other thing go you know what it's Monday Monday retrograde and everything's lost all right let me see okay 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 so you have Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Leo. Okay, they're showing up. Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Leo. So that would be specific. Somebody's 37. Somebody was born in 1990. Um, somebody's birthday is November 9th. We also have, oh, 143, I love you. Somebody maybe texted 143, or you're going to text 143 to somebody. Um, December 4th, that's Sagittarius, Scorpio showing up here. Um, okay, hold on. Whoa, what's this? Um, <laughs> okay, they gave me two things. They gave me a 900 number, toll free, I guess, or not, I don't know. And then somebody said OnlyFans. I'm not touching that. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, also, 100100. Something about one zero zero one hundred. One hundred. Maybe you'll find a hundred dollar bill. All right, let me give you just some Chinese zodiac and see who's showing up here in your Chinese zodiac. I feel like I'm missing the rest of my cards. Maybe it's my brain. Okay, year of the tiger, year of the horse, year of the goat. Year of the Ox, Year of the Rooster, and Year of the Pig. Okay, could be them, could be you, could be both of you, could be nobody. And some charms. Let's get some charms. Okay, ooh, alrighty. Well, hello there, squiddy, octopusy, penisy looking thing. <laughs> Please don't, please don't strike my channel. Okay, yeah, that, I don't know if that's an octopus or a squid or a mushroom or a fire hydrant, but that's symbolic. Somebody wants to get their tentacles all over you. Virgo, you see that thing? Look, you make up your mind. <laughs> okay, we're leaving that right there. So I don't know. We also have, well, you also have a spider. Lovely. So we're going into that spooky season. Okay, maybe somebody likes Spider-Man, that or DC or Marvel. I don't know which one is Spider-Man. Is that is that DC or is that Marvel? I have no idea. Why would I even know that? I wouldn't even know that. I have no idea why I would know that. I don't know that. There's your answer. And then we also have like a bow tie. Oh, this feels like a bow tie infinity symbol. So maybe there's a tattoo. Somebody has a bow tie infinity symbol. Or maybe a tattoo that was supposed to look like an infinity symbol and it turned out to look like a bow tie. Okay. It's whatever. And then we have, they're telling me Seafoam Green. Seafoam. 
I'm, now I'm hearing Sifu. S seafood? Sifu. Seafoam green, but in like flower petals. Seafoam green flower petals. Is that significant for you? Please leave me a comment and let me know. So this is short and quick. So the overall message, let's get the over, you know what? Let us get the overall bottom of the deck. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, here we go. The world, things are changing. New chapter starting, new love happening here or uh, and or recommitment to love happening here. Okay, the world, you, you guys might be worlds apart and have huge gaps or obstacles. Things are going to start coming together. There's a new chapter going forward for you guys. Maybe there's some travel. You might be, there's a lot of differences with the world. We also have, I said Leo, so I said Taurus, Aquarius, said that, and Scorpio. Okay, beautiful. I love this reading. Beautiful energy, very simple. Relax, don't stress, don't worry. All right, Virgo. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Go ahead over there and book that reading for yourself. And also don't forget, if you want to, I'm just putting in a 99 cent membership fee for the month to access all of the community, everything in the community. So that will be for members only. You could also purchase the other one, as I said before, but completely up to you. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.